What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator. Here we are in our old, trusty, modified Peterbilt 389 by Viper 2. I'm in another profile. Unfortunately, my other profile had so much, had so many mods as I was talking about before that I just switched profiles. I haven't deleted it quite yet, but um, I did switch profiles. I luckily had one more profile available with all the money in it. As you can see, it doesn't have quite as much, but it still has a billion dollars, so we should be fine. But I'm coming back to this truck with our girl in it. We're to get off the phone in here and just see what happens. Um, if I do bring another mod in, like I said in my last episode before it crashed, that I'm just going to put one, you know, one mod in or two mods in, whatever the truck is, and try it out. Instead of leaving them in the game and packing them up as having like 15 different trucks, if I do have 15 different trucks, they're all going to be just modified SES trucks. Because when the game goes to changing, it's not one day it's not going to recognize it because all the mods in, kind of like what happened in our last profile. And when you go to erase all your mods, all your game files are all corrupted because they're all attached to those older mods. So we're just going to keep this truck. We do have, we do have this truck... The, the one you're looking at right now. Um, we have our FLB 2.0 um, that I still need to make another one. Uh, FLB is still staying in the game. Um, and there's another truck. Oh, Freightliner Classic is staying in the game as well. So our, our older trucks are staying in the game. When it comes to other trucks, like I said, I'm going to try and just use them, trade them in, and take out the mod so sorry about that that long intro but i just wanted to get that out of the way we're taking used packaging 29,079 pounds to lakeview oregon and the fedex dealer and we got six hours remaining so it's probably a it's probably a quick haul but i was too busy jabbering your ears off get off the phone woman at least we got her back in here. Got okay, somebody to talk to. Parking brake disengaged. Let's get going. And I had a, I had a, I had a, um, an engine mod in this game, but I had to take it out because I didn't want to corrupt this truck. Ooh, that's close. Went on the curb and everything. I'm going to go this way and get out. I don't want to corrupt this truck by going... Uh, I could maybe go that way. That navigator doesn't sound like that. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, the, mo the motor I had in it, sound really, it sounded really awesome. It was... Ooh, brake intensity. I'm going, I don't care. He's going straight anyways. What in the world? Sorry, guys. Um, and as soon as I got... Um, so, yeah. the the I had a, probably like a 700 horsepower motor in it. And it was by... Um, it was by... Uh, Mortals mortal it's the same uh motors that uh jdm uses i could not get that tow truck that i paid ten dollars to use i could not get it to work he doesn't really i mean i've i've emailed him so many times that i've pretty much given up the only truck that was actually good for something was the 352 but you know i don't have that anymore i gotta remake it hey look at that I don't know what's going on right there, but... Oh. I don't think we can... Well... There was nothing blocking, really. There wasn't anything blocking me from coming up here, other than... The... The turn was 
locked, but the well, the turn on the other side is blocked, but not, not my side, so I don't know what's going on there, but we got to get over really quick. So yeah, I'm kind of, I've emailed J, uh, the creator of the JDM mod about the tow truck and how I'm not, how it's not working no matter what I do. He told me it's, it could be a mod conflict. With this profile, it didn't have any mods in it besides the money really um, and it's and with only having those two with, with only having his mod for the wrecker for the tow truck and his uh, trailer uh, tow, towable tra the ones I was showing you before the game crashed uh, in my last episode I don't think those were his, those were somebody else's. Because I couldn't find those JDM mods before uh, I put in a, 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 a towable trailers mod by uh, Seeker. S-E-E-K-E-R. Seeker mods is the mod that had that truck that I showed you in the last profile. That was like a Peterbilt 389 with a long, extended, heavy haul trailer. Yeah, that wasn't JDM's mod, so... Um, I actually wouldn't know what they look like because I haven't seen them. There's a separate file and everything, but... All it is is an SCS file, and I put it in the top priority, and I put the wrecker in the bottom priority, and I made the truck, and I was having trouble with gas tank showing up, so... After, there's no water over there, that looks funny. It's probably the drought. But, uh, after all that happened, you know, and it, going into California. After all that happened, I was kind of, when I made the 352 episode, I was pretty happy about it, but then when I made the, then when I tried to make the record and tried to get the, I don't know why I keep calling it a wrecker, but the t tow truck, it's called a wrecker in his file. So when I tried to get the tow truck to work, it just wasn't working, so I don't know. I was excited about it, and then, you know, whatever. Ten, ten I think I paid like 15 bucks for the wrecker and 10 bucks for the 352 uh, cab over. I'm happy with the cab over. I'm not too happy with the tow truck, uh, but I won't get that money back, so whatever. I'd like to, but uh, I've emailed him so many times, of, uh, not about having money back, but just about uh, trying to get that, or how I was having trouble getting the mod to work. I said I was having... I said, what, what was working fine, the 352 was working great, but the 359 tow truck, it wasn't working, and when I did get it to work, I wasn't finding any uh, cargo for it. Like, it's not even under, you couldn't even make your own cargo for it. Um, so I looked under you know, trying to make my own, maybe there was an option to have an ownable one, or if it was maybe a job somewhere that I could find, but I just couldn't find it, so. As you could tell by me talking about it so much, I'm not too happy about it, but like I said, I can't really do anything about it. So we have this truck, old trusty mod. Everybody else was saying that they were having problems with it, and it kind of got in my head that I was having problems as well with this mod about how it lags with some people's profiles. I mean, yeah, I get lags, lag things here and there. I'll have a little bit of lag, but that's even after I took out this truck, I was still having lagging issues. But it could have been all the other mods that I had in the game. Now I just have. At the most, I have 15, and that's still a lot. 
uh, just thinking about how many there are, but if you think about five trucks and then the minimal interface advisor thing I have, the mirror up top that I have, um, the cusp, uh, the rims are still in the game because I didn't want to corrupt the file because I didn't know what I had in this profile. It says I have nine, it says I have ten trucks, but none of them are available. And any time you go and click on a truck that's not available, it's not in your mod folder, most of the time it'll just crash the game. So I'm going to have to figure that out. And if I do figure that out, then I'll keep using this profile. If that doesn't happen, I might have to make another profile. But you know, hopefully it'll go seamlessly and I can get it done in a day where you guys don't notice too much of anything missing or whatever, but so like to have the girl in here, I gotta have cabin accessories on, I have to have SISL mega pack, and I have to have some other pack for the Coca-Cola cans and all this stuff. I mean I don't really need the Red Bull and the, all that stuff and the freshener and all that stuff, but it kind of makes me feel a little bit more realistic when I'm playing this game. But uh, what I was getting to earlier is, with this profile, I don't think I ever had the controller set up, or not the controller, but the wheel, my Logitech wheel set up. So when I went, so I had to configure it, and then I and then there was no, like, fill in the wheel as uh, <laughs> the only thing I could really say. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice a little bit, but every time I would turn the wheel, it had no force feedback. Uh, so I turned it up. I turned up everything back to the middle where it was for uh, everything like that. Now it's working a little bit better. Hopefully it's not my G29. I don't think it is because it was just working with the other profile just fine. Uh, it, it wasn't until I went into this profile that it had a problem because it wasn't set up or something. Or it wasn't set up in this profile. Slow down a little bit. Jake breaking this thing is super quiet. The one I had in here before was super loud, but hey, what is that? It was like a. I've never seen a truck like that before. It's like one of those uh, Peterbilt M2 or something, M something, M200 or something like that. One of those ones that you see the uh, people that do hauling for other companies. They'll get the truck that passed by a while ago and they'll go pick up jobs in it see that still wasn't that much on the steering wheel I don't know what's going on I gotta fix that too I gotta still I gotta still work on fixing that too Alexis in front of us a butchery Is it going backwards? I don't know why it does that. Still can't figure out why it does that. It does that no matter what I do. Still gonna hit the curb? Still hitting the curb. See, I don't feel it in the wheel like I used to. I used to feel myself hitting the curb. So I had to reconfigure my... my... everything. Uh, I put my trailer brake trailer brake below my uh, engine brake and then I put cruise control on the right hand side of the all, all my little buttons I have get off the phone woman could have went head on with that copper I wasn't let's go back into low gear 
some grass coming through the asphalt. I've seen a lot of those trucks that we just passed in the last episode, and they all had black uh, hoods. Every white truck. Well, they were all white. They all had black hoods for some reason. I don't know if that's like uh, something conflicting, but I don't have any other truck mods other than the ones I told you guys about. And I don't have any skins in the game either. So I don't know what that could be. They don't, oh, I have uh, all Jazzy Cat stuff in the game, but... So like I said, it's not that hard to get to 15 mods. Um, Jazzy Cat has about four... I have about five trucks, everything with the mirrors and the, the interface on the bottom, the UI on the bottom, welcome to Oregon. Um, I don't have any Volvo trucks. The only truck that's uh, in the Volvo dealership is the Freightliner Classic. So, and then the real stores, so you can see how it can get to 15 mods quite, quite easily. You know, if you want to make the game your own, it's... That guy almost came out. If you want to make the game your own, it's kind of difficult to... make it your own and keep the game stable at the same time. We're still barely going 35 wrong button. What is this? It's like a... That's my cruise control button. Okay, cool. There's the skaters. Hey, they're skating. They're doing more than just sitting there. What is this? Texas? park on that side of the road. I always refer to Texas because I used to live there, so that's why I say Texas. If I lived somewhere else, I'd probably say, oh, Wag City. If I lived somewhere else, I'd probably say, what is this? Missouri? That's just the city loading in. We're just, we're not coming in very quickly into the city, but Sometimes the cities, sometimes the cities just don't load in like they're supposed to. That's a new Ford Explorer. It's right here somewhere. It's a FedEx. Oh, it's up here. That sounded like that should sound. All right. It's one of those open gate deals. Sorry, Colorado. And honk his horn at me. He didn't, but I'm surprised he didn't. Where are we going? there. Oh, it's behind us. I didn't see it, though. Behind us. Did you guys see it? I didn't. those little markers, but other than that, I thought maybe it was in there, I don't want to hit the, there we go rolling forward again, I 
Yeah, it doesn't look like it's in there. All right, let's bring up our map. That doesn't do nothing. Hold on, wait a minute. It's probably in between those vehicles. Probably. In between those vehicles. In between... It's probably right here. It's just not showing up for some reason. Like right here. I don't see it over there. I could try. I mean, that's the only thing I can do. It looks like it's right here. From the map. It's probably right in front of my face. And you guys are like, it's right there! But I don't see it. not back there. That's the only spot that's open unless it's next to that truck. It's just not for some reason loading in. See, that's the only thing that's making me think it's right here, is those little tiny white markers. Stop going forward. Customer's not always right in this situation. There it is. But in order to get it straight, can't really tell about that. For some reason. Yep, it was those little things. Oh, well, that's good. Huh. Gonna have to change to that mod. No, I don't know. Let's drop it off. Excellent, 210 miles, 4 hours, 41 minutes, 38 gallons consumed. $9,450, 480 XP. Alright. That was kind of a mess. When I say kind of, it was a mess. I mean, it was really crooked, but I, I really didn't know where we were supposed to go until it kind of said that T. I mean, it kind of said drop off right there. I mean, luckily we were there, but I forgot how to zoom in on the map. I'm going to have to figure that one out. But anyways, anyways, I don't know why I said that that way. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this episode, uh, hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Take care. Peace out.